Hi folks, welcome back to Game Geeks. I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Today's episode, the Necropolis 2350 line, and is a 2351 to 55 update. What this is, is it is a supplement for the Necropolis 2350 game setting for Savage Worlds, which we reviewed previously. If you want to remind yourself of what that is, or if you're new and you haven't had a chance to look at it yet, go back and take a look. We'll wait for you. Oh, you're back. Good. Glad to see you. So, this is a setting, this is basically a companion or a continuation or basically just more ideas for your game. It does advance the timeline, which is not a tight timeline, it's five years, from 2350 to 2355. In that time, a lot of stuff goes down for the people on Salus, for the Knights. It introduces a new Ordeen and a new Ordo, so there's an entire new group of Knights for you to play. There are the Praetorians, and there are the Teutonics that get brought in. Then they introduce an entirely new Ordo, which is the Bradamantes. From there, it also goes into a description of just different things you can do with it. New edges for your game, new equipment, which is always nice. New weapons, armor, so a couple new rules. It actually, for the first time, also gives you some really good descriptions of what the corporates are like and life in the corporate sector, including the option of playing a corporate character and some of the psionics that they bring in to the party. Then there's also, of course, the bad guys. So new refame, up, new refame information, new types of undead for you to fight, new, new equipment they have, how you can work with some of their equipment, like use it against them, new spells and new powers that they have access to, and finally, my, one of my favorite bits at the back here are the Dangerous Secrets update, which is some of the stuff that's for the GM's eyes only and that you can use one way or another. For example, there are some heresies that get brought into it, some of the church secrets. My personal favorite bit that connects it back to, an, uh, to another Savage World setting, there is a direct connection between this and Rippers. Everyone's always wanting to connect Rippers with Deadlands, uh-uh, folks. This connects the Rippers beautifully with this one segment where it discusses the ability to potentially fuse in Rathaean parts into you, which opens up this entirely neat idea about a generational or long time in the future playing the descendants of your original characters sort of game. Then, from the back, it also gives you some basic some ideas for what goes on in that five-year period, some of the war maneuvers they make, how things work out, how they don't work out for you. Then there are ideas for savage tales, which aren't quite a full-blown plot point campaign, but just here's how, like, little mini missions you can go on, some of the bad guys you run into, then an entirely new area for you to play in, or sort of like this one region in the game for your characters to sort of go in and not just fight things, but sort of build up good relationship with the locals and see how, see how you can get them to sort of get on your town a little, get on your side a little bit more. There is a lot going on in this book, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of really good stuff for you in Acropolis 2350 game. I want to end this review with this, which is the author's final words. So he sort of says how he's been working on this for a while, how it's a really, has been a lot of fun for him, and then my, his advice on how to use a lot of this stuff. My advice is to take your time. Don't rush to include all the cool new materials straight away. Let the knights win and lose. Let them make a difference and become heroes to the masses. And then, just when they think they're winning the war, you'll be ready for the hellish nightmare that is Necropolis 2356 Apocalypse. I haven't had a chill run down my back for after reading a product and getting to those last words. As, as I, the only other time that's happened is when I was reading through a... The Spiraling Worm, which is another previous review, which is a collection of mythos stories, where I read the phrase, Weapons Grade Shoggoth. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like the Necropolis setting, if you like the game, if you like what it's about, or you just want to mine it for some creepy sci-fi horror, this is the way to go for you. This expands your original game in a lot of new directions and really great, great ideas for you to use in the game. For Game Geeks, I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Good day and good gaming.